The Army Corps of Engineers says this year ranks in the top five when it comes to record water runoff here on the Missouri, and it's left a lot of work for crews on both sides of the river. Entrance is blocked and the soccer fields are brown. Well, I just was curious about when it's going to open up the park. It's been closed for a couple weeks and the waters went down enough to work. I think at least if you wanted to have a picnic or something, you ought to be able to go in there and have one. Visitors to NP Dodge Park still can't get in. Flooding about three weeks ago, keeping boats off the river as giant debris float along. Omaha Parks and Rec says this park won't be open for a while and some of the fields will need to be reseeded. On the other side of the Missouri, crews are digging in, picking up piles of sand overflowing into Tom Hannafin Park. It was super high. It flooded the lower trail that kind of leads to one of the parking lots over by the casino too. So I was like, oh, look at that. There's water there. <laughs> The Army Corps of Engineers says this area of the river has dropped at least two feet in the last 10 days. For a total runoff of uh, one of the five wettest years in 120 years of record, so it's a, it's a very wet, wet year. While it's now about a foot and a half below flood stage, the closest dam up north is still releasing nearly double the amount of water to avoid issues like ice jams in the winter. We're certainly going to see you know, more trash in the river. It's, floods produce that, a faster current, so they, it's going to be a, a little bit more uh, uh, hazardous. Again, NP Dodge and Tom Hannafin Parks remain closed. It's unknown yet when they will reopen. Still, the Army Corps of Engineers stresses if you do get on the river eventually, still be careful because the water levels will be extra high. Live in Council Bluffs, Chindone, KETV, Newswatch 7.